All right, so today we're gonna be opening a half inch torque wrench from Vivor. They were nice enough to send me one so I could try it out and uh, to just let them know what I think about it. So we're gonna check it out and test out the torque wrench on a couple things and also uh, talk about the importance of using a torque wrench when needed. All right, ooh, very nice. Look at that case. That's pretty freaking cool, man. Okay, so this is also going to be a electronic or digital torque wrench. Oh, look at that. So, the first things first, they give us a couple of adapters for smaller ones, because I believe this goes um, to a pretty low setting. I think as low as 20 foot-pounds. Uh, don't you know hold me to it but wow this thing also has a really nice like weight to it so let's go ahead and inspect it as you can see it has a uh, you know clockwise and counterclockwise setting has the detent pin and then here it has all the settings so we'll go through all that and then I'm sure that's for when it needs to be calibrated or whatnot. And what is that? <laughs> a big old, that's what I heard rumbling around in the package, but I don't know what that is. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead, open the directions. They give us a set of alkaline batteries. So let's see what we got here. Vivor, digital torque wrench user manual. And what do we got here? Inspection certificate. Now, this is a digital 25 to 250 foot pounds. Wow. Very, very nice. I love it. Torque precision clockwise, 2%. Wow. Very, very nice. I will keep that stamped. We recommend you to verify this torque wrench after working for 12 months or 5,000 uses. Okay, I can get with that. So it comes with a warranty registration card. Put all your numbers and whatnot. Now this says it has a 365 days warranty from the date of purchase, so one year and you know, so anyways, you know, I know they're, you know, snap on and all that stuff better, but this, you know, this is a great tool for a, a decent price. So let's check it out here. So all your instructions here, display and key description. There's all the model numbers, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, if you guys do want anything from the Vivor website, which before they even reached out to me, I actually bought this socket set here. And I mean, I think I bought this thing for like 40 or $50 and it has everything from 10 all the way up to 36. Crazy. And it's just in a case, that sucker lives right here. So that way, anytime I need anything, I don't have to search or dig, it's just right there. So anyways, they have some pretty good affordable stuff. But anyways, let's get the batteries in this sucker and we will test it out and uh, see how it does with torquing wheels. And you know, I got a couple jobs coming up, so maybe we can test it out on a couple other things too. Check it out, that's pretty cool. So all you need is like a flathead screwdriver or something like that and you just twist it out. It's awesome. And then you drop the batteries down in, so I'm gonna guess positive down, hopefully. And then twist her back in. You'll have to push down and then tighten her back up. But yeah, like, like I was saying, if you guys want anything from the Vivor website, you can use my discount code, which is linked in the description, and uh, you can get some money off your next purchase. So that's awesome for you guys. But anyways, let's see here. 
power P. Oh, that's cool. Nice little screen there. Okay, so Newton meters. So we're currently in Newton meters. Jeez, I don't know. Oh, these are, is this preset? Ah, that's cool. So, wow, so Newton meters, kilograms, foot pounds, and inch pounds. Wow, that's really cool. So that way you don't have to do any converting or anything like that. And I'm weird, I'm gonna leave all that plastic on, but wow. So foot pounds and then, I guess I don't know how to use this. <laughs> I should read the directions, but wow. Has a battery meter there. All right, so let me figure out how to get this to get to a certain setting and then we'll test it out on a couple things. Okay, so I'm currently gonna set it to around 100 foot-pounds. Okay, so if you wanna go to a high or low torque that's pretty far away, you can just hold the down button. So here, let's do this. So I'm gonna put it on 105. And I'm just gonna see how it does. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a 19, I've had this 19 millimeter socket for good God, who knows how long, almost six years I've used it. Probably more than any other tool that I've ever used. So, let's, uh, let's give her a try. So it's at 105, as you can see right there. And that's what, so, That'll tell me what torque I'm at, and then it's the setting up there that's 105. So, let's see here. Oh, that's so cool. It's already, it's already telling me. Sorry, I'm just adjusting this camera. Real life, guys, this is real life. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, look, as I push down, that is so cool, man. Okay. That's freaking awesome. So, tells you when you get close. Oh, and then it vibrates. So I actually went to 107.6, which, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the conventional uh, torque, or the click torque wrenches, but man, this is gonna come in handy because I can use it on so much stuff with the adapters. And um, yeah, it's really cool. So as you can see, push down, push down. Nice, 105.7. So it does have an automatic shut off feature. So if you leave it on and you forget about it, it'll shut off. and. I think like a couple minutes or a minute or two. One other thing too, the beep. I don't think you can turn off the beep, which I don't really think you want to. I could see how it could really get on some people's nerves, but you know, that's the whole thing about it. When it beeps, you know, the beep lets you know that it's, you know, at the specified torque. And it also has a vibrate feature. So you also, you know, feel it vibrate. It's really cool. You know, like I said, I do like the traditional uh, clicking torque wrenches, but I think this thing is awesome, man. It has such a nice feel to it. And I am not just saying that. And I would never try to, you know, sell you guys or, you know, show you guys something that's garbage. I mean, granted, I haven't used it much, but just from what I've seen and other torque wrenches I've used in the past, does have a really nice feel to it. So I will say that there's the number on it. I think this torque wrench, if I'm not mistaken, is roughly around a hundred bucks, which is a really darn good deal. I was gonna get the Icon one from Harbor Freight, which I still may eventually, cause I, it's always good to have two, but uh, I'm, I'm really glad I ended up picking this one and going with this, cause it, it seems really good. 
I would also really like to talk to you guys about the importance of actually using a torque wrench and you know looking up torque values because you know especially with tires and whatnot if you're doing a lot of tires or you know if a tire falls off and you repair someone's car you're in big trouble now you know I've been working professionally as a mechanic for seven years you know I went to school for a number of years I you know did my own thing as a backyard mechanic for you know a number of years I mean just working on my own stuff I don't claim to be a master mechanic I maybe I might never be one but you know I, I will admit I have made the mistake once of uh, you know leaving a tire loose and that's what gave me the you know uh, what do you call that eternal trauma of <laughs> using a torque wrench um, it you know it was back when I was working in the shop when I was still you know basically just starting out and uh, it's pretty freaking traumatizing man you leave someone's tire loose you basically you know you put their lives at risk you put your reputation at risk you risk getting sued you risk there's a lot of things you risk so using a torque wrench is the way to go you know especially when building engines dealing with tires suspension all that stuff you really really need to invest in a torque wrench if you don't have one and you're doing you know work professionally as a mechanic or you know doing some serious engine work or rebuild or whatever you know because like I said you know it, it even happened to me once on this you know I, I get so distracted and I'm uh, you know doing work and I forget to tighten something up so that's why I always just leave it out and about so that way I always remember or like if I'm working on something and I don't have my torque wrench out what I'll do is I'll leave the socket on the wheel and then when I see it there I'm like oh I know to tighten that up or just get in the habit of as soon as you finish a wheel just torque it down right away and then when you're done check them all again it never hurts to you know double tri triple or quadruple check things you know what I mean so so my final thoughts on this Vivor half inch electronic torque wrench I think it's awesome for what it is man I used it today to torque a set of tires on a Jeep and one thing I will say in all honesty it is hard because I'm used to a clicking type of torque wrench but what I like about this is you know you do have to kind of pay attention you can't just blindly crank down and wait for the click but what I do like is you know, it tells you the exact torque that you hit. So if you go over, you know, it tells you which, honestly, on wheels and stuff like that, I feel like it's okay to go a little over on other stuff. You know, on precise bolts, like head bolts and stuff, you'd really have to watch it. But I do like the presets. So as you can see, I have the lowest preset there, 12.5. I have 100. I have 90 and then I had 105 which are some of the most basic ones I use but yeah I mean the controls once you figure them out you know you just hold this to turn it off and um, it works beautifully I, I really like this case now this is the type of case that doesn't really wear out because of the way the latches are which is really nice you can always keep this in your case and what I really like is that it comes with these here. So you can do half inch, three eighths, or quarter inch, have it all here. I have not figured out what this is. So guys, if you know what this is, please tell me because I guess I'm dumb, but there's that. So anyways, um, you know, <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll definitely have to do a, a long-term review on this. But as far as short-term goes, everything, you know, it definitely passes the quality test. This thing has a nice, heavy weight to it. The digital controls are nice. The, the whole packaging, everything how it came, 
I'm really impressed. And like I said, before I even talked to these folks about working with them, I was actually using the Vivor tools. I have a complete socket set, which I think is really amazing. The only thing I don't like about it is the box that it came in because it won't last as long as a box like this. That's the only improvement I think they could make. Besides that, those sockets are heavy duty and they're awesome to use. But if you like this video and you decide you want to buy something from vivor.com, don't forget to use my discount code VIVORML5. I will leave that in the description, put it on the screen. Make sure you enter that code to get a discount. Give them a shot. Try some stuff out. Whether you do or don't, you know, it doesn't affect me. But, you know, I figured it might help you guys out if you need some tools to buy. But anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great content and mobile mechanic vlogs. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace.